we are trying to understand Tala and we saw in the last session um, examples of a few prominent Talas. I also suggested um, in the last session that though Tala is translated as rhythm or the rhythmic facet of Carnatic music, um, Tala is really not rhythm. I mean, it is not a, a happy translation. So, what is Tala? In, a, in an extremely erudite paper, Dr. Prem Dutta Sharma, an uh, eminent musicologist, she suggested that Tala is actually Kala. Tala is Kala. What does this mean? Um, now, Kala means time. So, Tala is actually a certain duration of time that is rendered in or that is signified by hand gestures and this cycle or this duration is repeated cyclically. So, Adi Tala is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, this duration 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This Kala, this duration of time is rendered by these hand gestures 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is Tala. And this is cyclical. This is something that repeats until the end of the composition. So, each composition is fitted into a Tala cycle of this kind. It has been perceptively observed that Tala derives from um, poetic meter. The concept, the Tala itself, Tala as a musical um, concept, it is something that is associated or is drawn from poetic meter. Whereas rhythm is something that is associated with dance that has come from dance. So, we can have a rhythm of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, something that you can feel in your body, There's something that you can sway to. Very rarely can you really tap your feet to a piece of uh, Indian classical music. That kind of rhythm, rhythmic aspect um, is not easily found in uh, Indian classical music. The kind of rhythm that you can tap your feet to or that you can sway your body in, that kind of rhythm is not really associated with Indian classical music. What is uh, the, the temporal dimension of the temporal discipline of Indian music is brought in by Tala, which is more connection with which is connected rather with poetry and poetic meter rather than dance. It has been said apparently that um, you can be um, a good western classical musician if you know your alphabets from A to G, those are the notes and you can be a, a good musician if you know your numbers from 1 to 4. Those are the kind of uh, rhythms that you find in most other kinds of music, fours and threes, which are simpler, smaller numbers. Now, Indian classical music, whether it is Hindustani or Carnatic, um, especially Carnatic music, Carnatic music is particularly noted for its immense rhythmic complexity. Even a, a beginner is um, initiated into things far more complex than threes and fours. Let us uh, watch this clip. Now, this is a clip in which a simple aroha aroha is sung, but there is something that happens which 
is for you to try and figure out what is happening. We will talk about it a little later in this session. So let us listen to um, the rendition of a simple Aru Avroha of Maya Madhava Gaula and a certain rhythmic variety that is introduced. Sari Gama Padha So we ended last uh, session with uh, a small exercise for you. I sang a few songs, a few compositions, parts of the few compositions and um, left it to you to try and figure out what the thala is. Now this is not trivial. Um, it's not trivial to figure out the the thala cycle if you just hear the song. And this is another point that should make it obvious that thala is different from rhythm. In any uh, western song or a film song you can easily make out the rhythm you will be able to make out the rhythm but to make out the thala of a composition in Carnatic music it is not trivial unless you have some initiation into Carnatic music. Now let us just quickly go over those three compositions that I sang and I will tell you what uh, Tala uh, those compositions were in. The first composition was This was Rupa Katala. Thank 
These three are one of uh, the, among the most prominent thalas that I use. Another variety of this chapu thala is also um, very commonly encountered. Mishra chapu is a cycle of seven beats. The other variety of chapu thala is a cycle of five beats, and it is called khanda chapu. Khanda. Khanda Chapu is the other variety of Chapu. And this is also commonly encountered and it is rendered like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hecharika Gara Ram Chandra Hechadik Gara Ram Chandra Hechadik Gara Ram Chandra Hechadik Gara Gara Hedam Chandra Hedik Gara Hesugura Sandra Hedik Gara Khanda Chapu, a cycle of five beats. Now I, I will sing a composition and try and follow the Thala cycle and see what you make of it. This, if you would have made out, it's a cycle of 14 beats. It goes like this. <laughs> Then 
that's one cycle one avartana if you remember the cycle of a particular cycle of a tala is called avartana or avarta and this tala has a cycle of 14 beats we saw that adi tala has 8 beats rupaka tala has 6 Mishra Chapu has seven, Khanda Chapu has five, and those are really the very commonly used talas in Carnatic music. Now we have talas like this also, the one that I just performed, and this is called Dhruva Tala. Dhruva Tala. Now, when you have uh, a duration as long as this, fourteen beats, one, two, three, and so on, you can very well see why there is need for an external reference, like what we do by these hand gestures. <laughs> 